There's been a lot of talk on social media regarding Rashford and Bruno and it seems to be a complete echo chamber where everyone's just building more and more momentum behind Rashford and you have to choose Rashford. And I seem to be one of the few people saying, uh, actually, I think Bruno might be the better choice. So I thought I'd put out a quick video trying to give some rationale and a bit of an argument why I think Bruno may be a better choice than Rashford. So absolutely leave comments saying why I'm wrong. And if you're watching this after the event and Rashford did better than Bruno, feel free to give me lots of abuse for this. That's absolutely fine. So the deadline's half past six tomorrow. Let's have a look at this. So I've been watching FPL videos on YouTube for two or three years, ever since I started playing this version of the fantasy football. But it's only this season I've been on Twitter. And what's amazing is the number of content creators that more or less say the same thing. And they may be right, but what I've observed is they tend to repeat what the other one's saying. Maybe they've come to their own conclusions, but they often get things wrong. For example, going back two or three months, all the other content creators were piling on to Saka and Foden because they're the best thing since sliced bread. You have to wreck your team to get these two in. And I had a video out saying, yeah, I'm not getting Saka and Foden. And as it happened, they were blanking for ages. I think after game week three, loads of people were dumping Saka and buying in Rodrigo. And I put out a video saying, avoid this trap. And I, I predicted, is it worth it? Saka may be doing better. And I showed historical data showing, actually, I think that could be a mistake. And then a follow-up video a few weeks later showed that Saka did indeed outperform Rodrigo. So the current echo chamber is Bruno Rashford. Clearly, they both have a very good chance of doing really, really well. There's probably not going to be much in it. And yes, one of these is going to do better than the other one. So it's just opinions. But what is really weird is the huge percentage of people that are going Rashford over Bruno. So this is for those teams that have both. Why do they go for Rashford or not Bruno? So, for example, FPL mate, who I really like, not going to say anything bad against uh, Dan, he's great. He will go to something like Fancy Football Hub. I think he's associated with them or affiliated with them. So this is how my team's currently looking for Game Week 22. If we look at Rashford and Fernandez. FPL mate would be saying, oh, look at Rashford. He's predicted 14.6 points, Fernandez 12.8. So, of course, you should go for Rashford. And obviously, if Rashford's going to get 14.6 and Fernandez 12.8, of course, you should go for Rashford. But that's just their prediction. What about Fancy Football Scout? What are they saying? At the time of recording, they're saying Fernandez will get 10.8 points and Rashford 10.2 points. So Scout has Fernandez higher than Rashford. But it seems to me that most of the YouTubers that are affiliated with one site or the other are with Hub and not Scout. Both these sites you have to pay for to be able to see these scores. But there are some free sites. FPL Game Week, I talk about them every week in my video. What do they say? They predict scores. They have Fernandez on 13.4 and Rashford on 11.2. Another free site, FPL Form, and I'll try and remember to call these down below in the comments. They have Fernandez on 8.8 .8 and Rashford on 8. Now, I have no idea what formulas these sites have behind it to do the calculations. But of the th four sites that I look at, the predictions, three of them have Fernandez better than Rashford. But all of them have them quite close. There's not much in it. This particular site, FPL Form, which I assume looks at form, has De Gea also on 8 points, the same as Rashford, and Shaw's on 7.9. So something else we can do, just looking at the uh, fancy website itself for Bruno and Rashford, we can look at, for example, the last six weeks since the World Cup. How have they done? So reading uh, Bruno's then Rashford for each week. Week 17, Bruno got three and Rashford got 14. So clearly Rashford was much better. And then six and five, six and eight, nine and ten, ten and two, five and seven. So it seems pretty close. They have very different roles, but it seems pretty close what's going on there. Now, obviously, it's a double game week, so let's pair these up. If we pair them up, what we get is the first two game weeks. If that was a single game week, Bruno would have got nine points and Rashford a massive 19, which is obviously much better. And then 12, 13, 15, 18, 19, 12, 15, 9. So it seems quite close apart from the first game week. 
So the first game, I think that was away at Forest. They won 3-0. But that is Bruno's worst score in the last six weeks and Rashford's best score in the last six weeks. So what if we ignore that? Why do we take six weeks rather than five? Let's consider the last five games, what's happened there. So I've done this little chart here and I'm making this a quick video. Hopefully you can keep up, I'm not going too fast. <laughs> so what are the best scores for the last five weeks for both of these? So Bruno got Bruno's best is 10, Rashford's best is 10. Bruno's second best is nine to Rashford's eight. The third best, Rashford's on seven, Bruno six. Fourth best, Bruno six, Rashford five. And then the worst one, Bruno's worst score for a week has been five and Rashford's been down at a two. And when we look at the pairings, which we just looked at, Bruno's best is 19, Rashford's 18. Bruno's second best is 15, Rashford 13. Bruno's third best is 15, Rashford 12. Bruno's worst was 12 and Rashford was nine. So who's my captain gonna be? Currently, unless there's news, I'm fully intending on putting the old mule hat on Fernandez. And what's more, I'm intending to play my triple captainship as well. So I'm not suggesting to any of you that you do Fernandez over Rashford. I'm simply saying there's more than one side to the story. And if you just listen to the content creators that are all saying the same thing, you may as well think, but is this right? The majority aren't necessarily always right. The advantage of running with the majority is if you get it wrong, you're not going to be losing a lot of position. But something I absolutely agree with the other content creators on when they say this is you should captain who you think is going to do best. I absolutely agree with that. If you think Bamford's going to do the best this week, you play the captain on Bamford. Don't worry about the effective ownership. That's irrelevant. You should be picking the best squad you can pick. Thank you very much for watching. Please give me the abuse below. Bye.